Welcome to the game. five of our blackwater gulch let's paint series janie bauer um just look at her she's super cool um got a gun in one hand she's got uh, molotov cocktails on her waist and in her hand and she's lighting them with a cigarette or a cigar out of her mouth um just awesome now the model that i have uh the original model based off the pictures is supposed to have a cigarette or something hanging out of her mouth mine did not um so I can't really paint one in. I mean, I could stick something there, but I'm just not going to. But what I want to show you in this one is her dress um, is really uh, got lots of ruffles. It looks great. So what I'm thinking about is I wanted to do a light purplish, but none of the contrast purples are very light color. Um, so I'm going to start her dress with a base coat of white and just any white, but I use my standard white. Um, and I'm using my brush and as you can see this brush is rather beat to hell um, I've been using it for about a year. I use it for almost everything. It's just a Dungeons and Dragons um, You know layer brush that I picked up in my local gaming store uh, And but it, it's worked really well for me. So I have a bunch of other brushes. I bought the ghost brush uh, Kickstarter, so I have a whole bunch of those which is some of the other videos you may have seen me using uh one of those for fine detail but uh this one has done the trick for me and i really like it uncomfortable with it but the tip has come off several times which is why you can see where i've kind of you know stuck it back together crimped it to hold it on but i really like this brush and at some point i'm gonna have to replace it anyway um for her dress um i'm going with white underneath that big frill and for her sleeves and we're just basing it all white and after I thought about it, I decided I was going to go ahead and do the whole thing in white. And I'm going to let the purple do the do the contrasting for me. So um, anyway, uh, I went ahead after I carefully not painted the big, the, you know, that, that top frill apron part. Not really sure what that's called. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about because I'm painting it right now. Uh, I went ahead and decided I'm just going to paint the whole thing white. So get a good base coat of the white on top of there. Again, these guys were primed because she was primed with gray sear uh, contrast paint, but get a white on there. And next I'll show you what I did for the purple. Okay, um, contrast stylish purple and some of the contrast medium. Now the contrast medium is exactly that. It's just contrast paint without color. Um, and the stylish purple I liked, it's a good purple um, color. I put way too much on my palette here as I wasn't exactly sure how much I was going to need, but it didn't really take a whole lot. Uh, but I put, like I said, way too much purple on here. And I'm going to put some contrast medium. Now, don't ever make this mistake if you're going to do this. Make sure you completely rinse your brush out before you use the contrast medium. Or use the medium on, the, on your palette first and then do your color. As soon as you put your color into that contrast medium, it's tainted, tinted, technically both. Um, and now you're always going to have a purple color in your contrast medium, which you really don't want. So um, I pull some contrast medium out and I'm not going to do a big mix. I'm basically just going to touch the purple and mix it into my contrast medium. And I'll show you that here in just a sec. Just like that. I you know and that's that's like i said i put way too much purple um but it worked out in the end so find a nice color that uh, you know that i liked um uh, make it a little bit darker because remember this is going to go on the white and it'll go on very very thin and i'll show you that here in just one second And just paint it like another contrast paint um, you know a little heavy so that it'll sit down in the recesses to give that nice light purple color tint to the dress and it, it works out really well
Okay, and with the final touches of this light purple, uh, I'm going to go back and I'm going to pull in a little bit more of the purple, make it a little bit darker, because now I'm going to do the, the upper real part of the dress, the frill, just to give it a contrast. This will be a little bit darker, but not a whole lot, so it still blends well. And I want to make sure that when I do this to get the uh, underneath the edges of the frill, make sure you get the, the creases uh, in a little heavy because, again, it's a contrast paint. It'll fill those gaps for you and give it the contrast that you're looking for. And this I'm actually using one of my larger brushes. If you watch these videos, you'll see that I tend to use three different brushes. This is the largest brush that I usually use. Um, this is a really big brush, but the dress is really big and I wanted to get a lot of the contrast paint on there so it would flow into the creases and the ruffles really well. So if you're not comfortable using a bigger brush, you know, use your smaller layer brush. It works just as well. It just takes a little longer. I went ahead and mixed up a little bit more of the dark because I thought the hemline across the bottom of her dress needed to be a little bit darker. Um, so you can see here I'm just touching in a few of the spaces and then I'm going across the bottom with it very lightly just to allow it to flow into those creases. But yet the upper portions will still say the lighter color which kind of draws those two pieces together. The hem of her, of her dress, the frills from the back of her dress, closer to the same color with the lighter purple in between, really just kind of helps her dress all flow together. Black Templar, a complete contrast to this light purple that we just did because she's in the West, she is a country girl. I liked the idea of her um, top, the bodice, uh, whatever you want to call that, and that little apron in the front as a black. Darker to kind of offset the light color. Um, I liked it. I thought it looked good and it kind of fit. It's This is very similar to the uh, picture on the Gang Fight Gangs, Gang Fight Games website of how she's painted. I don't know how they painted it, um, but the colors kind of matched, and I liked that. So um, there it is. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the the top portion. Uh, it's the black, so it's going to again, it's gonna be a little lighter on the upper areas and darker in the creases. Don't go too super heavy on this. I'm using a a finer tipped brush there as you can see to get into those hard to reach spots under her arms places like that trying to leave the strap untouched because we're going to come back and do that again with a very special brown you know which brown it is
Vallejo model colors, basic skin tones. The lightest skin tone that I have, um, as you can tell when it's right next to the barbarian flesh there, um, it's much brighter. Uh, just, and you know, I don't, it helps me as you kind of think of a background for your models to kind of figure out where they came from. To me, she doesn't spend a whole lot of time out in the sun. Uh, maybe lives in the forest, lots of tree cover, whatever. Uh, it's the old west. So, you know, her skin tone's going to be lighter than maybe the rest of the gang because they're, you know, they're out doing stuff out in the sun. Maybe she's not. Don't know. But the flesh wash will come back in. We'll darken that up some so it looks a little more realistic. But, you know, pick a color you like and go with it. I just thought I would mix her up just a little bit more from the rest of the gang. Okay, so confession. It was at this point that I remembered I forgot to paint her gloves. Um... Her gloves we painted white earlier, but I forgot to apply the purple to them uh, to really kind of complete the dress. So mixed in a little bit of the purple just to mix it up because it had been sitting there for a few minutes. And I'm just going over her hands with the purple. So again, should have done this when I did the dress. I wanted it to more match the uh, darker purple of the frills on her dress. But... We'll quickly get this done. All right, gun metal for army painter for the gun. So not a whole lot to mention here. All right, at last, my favorite brown snake bite leather contrast. Um, and this is going to be for the straps uh, and her holster. Um, and again, with, with this one, I'm going to use my medium... Citadel brush. It's got a little finer point on it than the Dungeons and Dragons brush that I had. Because this is a very thin strap that we want to get. So um, very gently, very carefully, just cover um, her belt and, you know, do it slowly so you don't get it on the dress. Don't want to get it on the dress. Sorry, I'm kind of off the screen there. This is not as easy as you think it is to do this in front of a camera. Uh, but again, take your time with it, go slow, and uh, yeah, I mean, it comes out really good. All right, Leviathan Blue Contrast. Um, what in the world are we going to do with that? The bottles. Um, so I was kind of torn if using a kind of a darker green or a darker blue for the bottles. I went with blue um, just because I thought it would work better and I wasn't sure I could come up with a green that I liked but hindsight I should have mixed it up a little bit because I said I have all four bottles blue but oh well that's the fun thing about painting is learn as you go so um, next time I paint a model that has you know Molotov cocktail strapped to their waist uh, maybe I'll try a green or I'll mix it up a little bit but anyway just be careful with it go very slowly again you're right next to that purple dress we spent so much effort on don't rush this. Be very careful. Take your time and get just the bottle. Don't touch your gloves. Just very gently, very clean. Make sure you got a good point on your brush. With a contrast paint, sometimes a little goes a long way, so you don't have to glop it on like it was advertised. Um, just get some on your brush. Let the paint do the work. Okay, here I'm just coming back in with some white and painting the labels on the bottles. Um, you don't have to. I just thought it kind of brought us some attention to the bottles. Um, and they actually have little labels modeled onto them. So there you go. Paint the labels. Okay, Army Painter's Flesh Wash. I use this for all the skin tones uh, so far. Do her uh, face, 
uh, chest and arms. Don't get it too far around, just enough to cover it all up. Let the con let the shade do uh, work its magic. All right, Agaros dunes for her hair again. I, I keep picturing Janie as a dirty blonde, so Agaros dunes kind of fills that that in uh, rather well for me. So. Just be careful not to get it. This one's actually easier because if it kind of gets on the flesh, it, the flesh tone is there and it kind of is almost a similar color. And if you get it on the black, you're not really going to see it. But don't just you know, take your time. Be careful with it. Um, back to our white. And to paint the fuses on her Molotov cocktails. Okay, um, apothecary white contrast to shade those fuses because those fuses would be like white rags or something that she stuffed in the bottle and the apothecary white actually does a pretty decent job of shading the white um, and, and doing a good job. So uh, just get on the fuses, let it sit into those recesses a little heavy um, because they're kind of a dirty white rag, but... Okay, we're going back to the Black Templar, mainly because I finally decided I was just going to go ahead and do the hat in black. I was initially thinking I'd do snakebite leather, but the black just seemed to fit better with how she was turning out. So uh, I do apologize. Uh, my video stopped as I was painting on the underside of the brim, but in the next segment, you'll you'll see her hat. So anyway, we just painted the whole hat with uh, the Black Templar contrast. Okay, for our final step, uh, around her hat, she has a hat band. So I uh, thought I would tie that in with the purple. So again, mixed up some purple uh, using our contrast medium and some of the uh, stylish purple that was there. And just going around the gray sear primer uh, around her hat band. And this one you go, kind of go on a, you know, it's a little heavier than normal, but it, it's... It's mixed light enough that it kind of finishes the model off. All right, here she is, completely based and completed. And there you go. What do you think? Not bad for a quick paint job, tabletop quality. I really like how the back of her dress came out, especially the two different tones, the ruffles, the hem, all tied together. And here she is, mixed in with the rest of the gang. She fits in really well. There you go, folks. Um, th thanks for watching. Really, if you like this channel, subscribe, uh, please. Uh, it really helps us out. Like this video. Feel free to share it. Uh, check out our other videos. I have done giveaways in the past, and I've got some stuff that I'm thinking about giving away. I actually have some games that I want to give away. So uh, subscribers will have uh the only subscribers will have a chance to win that. So more to come on that. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and check out the other videos. Thanks. Bye now.